In this video, we will be discussing about the osteology of scapula. So, scapula is the bone of the upper limb and it is attached to the axial skeleton. So, as you see here, it is attached to the axial skeleton. So, before going into the topic proper, let us know few points regarding this scapula. So, to this scapula, there are two bones attached, namely the clavicle. In this video, we will be discussing about the osteology of scapula. So, scapula is the bone of the upper limb and it is attached to the axial skeleton. So, as you see here, it is attached to the axial skeleton. So, before going into the topic proper, let us know few points regarding this scapula. So, to this scapula, there are two bones attached, namely the clavicle and the humerus. Now, coming to the side determination of the scapula. So, for that first, let us know the anatomical position. So, this is the anatomical position of the scapula, right? So, the glenoid fossa, this is the glenoid fossa. What you are seeing here, this one is the glenoid fossa. This always lies on the lateral side of the scapula, right? So, with that itself, we can easily determine the side of the scapula. Coming to the next point, this is the medial border. This border is the medial border of the scapula. So, on the lateral side lies the glenoid fossa and on the medial side it is the medial border. And the spine of the scapula lies on the posterior side of the scapula, right? The spine of the scapula lies on the posterior aspect of the scapula. And then finally, this is the anterior surface of the scapula. So, this is the anterior surface of the scapula. So, with all the previously mentioned points, we can come to a conclusion that this is the right side scapula, right? Now, coming to the anterior view of the scapula. So, what you are seeing here, this entire surface, this entire fossa, in turn, it is called as the subscapular fossa. Subscapular fossa from where the subscapularis muscle arises, right? Next, coming to the medial border. So, what you are seeing here, this is the medial view of the scapula and this is the medial border of the scapula, right? So, this border is also called as vertebral border. Medial border is also called as vertebral border. And then coming to the lateral view. So, what you are seeing here, this entire portion, this is the lateral border of the scapula and this portion, this is called as the inferior angle of the scapula. And then, this is the superior angle of the scapula. So, this is the inferior angle and this is the superior angle of the scapula. And here you can notice that this is the superior border of the scapula. Superior border. And on this superior border of the scapula, you can find a notch called as the suprascapular notch. This is called as the suprascapular notch. And then on the lateral side, you can appreciate the glenoid fossa to which the humerus is attached. Right. So, below the glenoid fossa, you can appreciate a small protrusion and this is called as infraglenoid process. The small protrusion below this glenoid fossa, it is called as infraglenoid process. And then coming to the supraglenoid process. So, what you are seeing here, this portion, it is called as the supraglenoid process. This protrusion is called as the supraglenoid process. And then, this process is called as the acromion process. This is called as the coracoid process. And this is called as the acromion process. Now coming to the posterior surface of the scapula. So what you are seeing here, this is the posterior view of the scapula. So this fossa, what you are seeing here above the 
spine of scapula this is called as the supraspinous fossa and below the spine of the scapula this is called as the infraspinous fossa so this is supraspinous fossa and this is called as the infraspinous fossa and then this region is called as the neck of the scapula which connects the supraspinous fossa with the infraspinous fossa and then this is the spine of the scapula